Hi there everybody and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking about one of the new features introduced in the Wave 1 update of 2023, it's non-deductible VAT. Um, so what is non-deductible VAT? Well, it's basically um, some configuration in Business Central which allows us to remove the VAT element from particular types of transactions. Um, so there's a little bit of configuration that we need to do around this and I'm just going to talk through this. Um, so first thing we're going to do is just use the search function to search for a page here called VAT setup. And we're going to go to our VAT setup page here and what we're going to do is just enable non-deductible VAT. Um, so bear in mind before we do this, I am in a test environment, a sandbox environment here, and I would recommend you do the same before enabling this in your production environment. Um, so I'm going to come to the enable non-deductible VAT boolean here and just mark that as yes. Um, so we get a bit of a warning here. Um, I won't read through the whole disclaimer there, but it basically tells us that once we enable the feature, we cannot turn it off again. And it's just the way that it works here because there's some changes made to some tables in the background which can't be undone. Um, so what I'm going to do is just agree to the message here. So I'm going to press yes. And um, you can see here that the uh, non-deductible VAT boolean now is uneditable. So I can't change that back to no. Um, so some of the other functions which are now available to us um, are the um, non-deductible VAT options here. So I can use this for the item cost, for the fixed asset cost, for the job cost. Um, and this is basically to do with the different modules that we might use in Business Central. Um, it just depends um, which modules you want to use the non-deductible VAT functionality with. Um, I do have another checkbox here for show non-deductible non VAT in line. So I can enable that if I want to show the um, non-deductible VAT functionality within the lines on documents, journals, and so on. And as I mentioned earlier, if we want to use non-deductible VAT for our item cost, fixed asset cost, and job costs, we can enable the booleans here. Um, so we do need to do a little bit more setup here. So um, you can see here I've got a notification, choose complete to open the VAT posting setup page where we can complete the setup for non-deductible VAT. So if I press complete here, it's just gonna take me to another page within Business Central here called the VAT posting setup. Um, so we will do another video which talks through um, this page and sort of the way that that works. Um, but essentially we've got new fields here for allowing non-deductible VAT and setting the non-deductible VAT percentage as well as a non-deductible purchase VAT account. Um, and this configuration, this setup is done by the VAT business posting group and VAT product posting group combinations. So I can come to one or normally all of these would be defined in the same way, but just for the purposes of this demo, I'm gonna enable this for domestic and standard um, combinations of VAT business and product posting groups. Um, so what I'm gonna do is change the allow non-deductible VAT to allow and the non-deductible VAT percentage, I'm going to set that as 100. Um, so the other field that we had here was the non-deductible purchase VAT account. And as I mentioned here, um, that is one of the new fields that we have as a result of turning on the non-deductible VAT functionality. Um, I don't have to use that though if I don't want to. Um, I'll explain the difference between using that and not using that when we start posting um, transactions. Um, so you can set that up for a number of different VAT business and product posting group combinations if you want to, but here I've just set it up for domestic and standard. 
um, and we'll remember to select those when we're posting some transactions. Um, so really that's all the configuration that we need to do. So what I'm going to do is go back to my purchase invoices here and what we'll do is we will post some transactions now. So I'm going to raise a new purchase invoice and I'm going to select a vendor here. So I'm just going to select first up consultants it's here and I'm going to select a GL account here of 10100 just to make life easier and I'm going to select a quantity of one and a direct unit cost of 100 and um, we can see I do have some VAT coming through there but I think it's not the combination of product and business posting group that we need so I'm just going to add in a column here this is a new environment so I don't have any of my columns uh, let me just find the right one just drag this over so, okay and I'm going to change that to standard so now what you can see is the VAT business posting group is domestic, the VAT product posting group is standard, and I have um, a total of 100 excluding VAT and 20 VAT. Um, so it's all in local currency GBP here, um, but that is my very simple purchase invoice that's put together. So let's give myself a vendor invoice number. And what I'm going to do is just hit the preview posting function here, which is just going to show us the entries that will result if we're about to post this invoice. Um, so what we're interested in here is the GL entries. And here, what we've got is two entries for GL account 10100 and one entry for 50100. So it's these two that we're interested in here because we've got the cost amount of the line on my invoice going to GL account 10100, but also we have the non-deductible VAT element as well. So the 20 pounds of VAT has also gone to the same account that I've used for my cost on my invoice. And I've got the final line here, which is just um, my accounts payable, my creditor control account for the full amount of the invoice. So you see how the postings work there. This posting to one or 100 I get because I put in 100 as the cost element. And this posting I get to one or 100 because of the 20 GBP of non-deductible VAT. So that's one of the ways that you can set up when you're posting non-deductible VAT but if I go back to the VAT posting setup here remember we talk through the field that we have here for the non-deductible purchase VAT account and what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to add a new account here for that so I'll just check the account numbers for a minute Let's go new and I'll go 46301 non deductible VAT. So we'll just leave that as it is for now and I'll select that one. Okay, so the only change that we've made is we've come back to the VAT posting setup and the combination of domestic and standard VAT business and product posting groups. We have added the non deductible purchase VAT account of 46301. Now let's go back to our invoice. So I'm back on my purchase invoice here and I'm going to hit preview posting again and we'll just observe the implications of that change. So you'll see I still have my cost line here for 10100 for 100 GBP, 
but this time you'll notice the GL account here is 46301, so the new GL account which we just input on the VAT posting setup, and that is the account to which the non-deductible VAT element has now been posted on my general ledger. And the other line remains the same, my account's payable, but the difference here, guys, is that I've got an additional posting um, for the non-deductible VAT element to 46301. And the reason for that is because we set up the VAT posting setup with our non-deductible purchase VAT account. So if you don't do that, it goes to the cost account. If you do put that account in, it goes specifically to that account. And I guess it depends on which way um, you want to work and you want postings to be made to your general ledger. So other changes that have been made here, if I step back to my purchase invoice, if I scroll to the right, remember we selected show non-deductible fields. Um, so we've got these additional fields here on the purchase invoice line. So the non-deductible VAT base, non-deductible VAT amount. So we just see that as a reference point and they change as and when the non-deductible VAT functionality kicks in and kicks out. So if I change that to services reduced, you'll notice the fields are now marked as zero because the VAT product posting group services reduced and VAT business posting group domestic do not have non-deductible VAT set up on them. Um, so other changes, as you'd expect, these fields have also been added to our VAT entry. So if I search for the VAT entries table, we do also have, and we just need to add those in. Let me go plus field. Um, so I've got non-deductible VAT base. I've got non-deductible VAT amount. And I've got the same fields in the additional currency there as well. Uh, but these two fields are now available on the VAT entries table. And also the day book VAT entry report also has those fields added in for our non-deductible VAT base and VAT amount. And obviously um, we do also have to report that non-deductible VAT to the authority. So if I come into VAT statements here, now I've not configured this on this particular environment, but I'll just show you for reference that when we're picking the amount type, they have also added in the non-deductible amount and non-deductible base here um, with regards to the VAT entries that we're filtering to on our VAT statement. Um, so just bear in mind, if you're using non-deductible VAT, you do need to add in these um, lines on your VAT statement to account for that when you're reporting to the authorities. Um, other things to mention, guys, is obviously you may not be using the non-deductible VAT functionality in a fresh environment in which there are no transactions. Just consider transactions which are already there at the point when you turn on the non-deductible VAT functionality. So there's considerations that you need to make there um, if you're turning it on in a system which is transacting and live already. Um, so that's a quick introduction to the non-deductible VAT functionality. I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.